Why did Brighton sign a rising star in the same position as Mitoma on transfer deadline day? Andy Naylor, a reporter who has covered Brighton for about 36 years, reveals the truth about the transfer market regarding Kaoru Mitoma. Is this the prelude to a Mitoma transfer? On the transfer market's deadline day, Brighton acquired Ansu Fati on loan from Barcelona for one year. Fati is often dubbed as the successor to Lionel Messi, and there is no doubt he is a prodigious talent who will eventually carry the Spanish national team. Manager Deselby is delighted to have secured the highly anticipated Fatty, but initially, Brighton did not plan to bring this 20-year-old rising star on board. At least, Fatty's name was not on their reinforcement list. As of 10 days before the market closed, Fatty's specialty is attacking from the left side, which overlaps with Mitoma's main playing position, leading some to speculate. Is Fatty signing a precursor to the transfer of the Japanese national team attacker? However, the actual story is quite different. Manager Deselby stated, Ansu can play as a number 9 striker, or a number 10 attacking midfielder. He can also function as a winger on both sides. This suggests a flexible approach, without fixing him to one position. In other words, Fatty is neither Mitoma's rival nor his successor. He was brought in primarily as a replacement for Enciso. Considering the schedule, Fatty's acquisition was essential for Brighton this season. Brighton, which is participating in European competitions this season, will face a highly congested schedule. With 38 domestic league games and 6 group stage matches in the European competition. That's already 44 matches. If they progress further in the European competition alongside Marseille, Ajax, and AEK Athens, the number of matches will increase further. Additionally, domestic cup competitions like the FA Cup and League Cup will add to the workload, likely resulting in around 50 matches this season. Brighton's squad depth was not particularly strong to begin with, and manager Deselby believed they needed to fill in CISO's void as soon as possible. That's where Fatty's loan transfer came into play. Initially, a move to Tottenham seemed likely, but manager Deselby personally called Fatty, explaining the role and plans. Fatty was also enticed by the enthusiastic recruitment, and agreed to the deal promptly. Deselby's new request for Mitoma. Now, let's talk about Mitoma. His performance in his first season. Challenging the Premier League was nothing short of fantastic. With manager Deselby's appointment, he quickly moved up the pecking order and became a regular starter. He ended the season with 10 goals and 7 assists, making a significant impact as a key player. However, there were challenges. As the congested schedule began in April, his goal and assist numbers significantly decreased. And his overall performance declined. Playing matches every three days for Brighton. Coupled with a long-distance trip to Japan during the international break in March. Likely contributed to a drop in his form. Therefore, maintaining peak condition throughout this season. Will be crucial for Mitoma. Furthermore, manager Deselby has another request for Mitoma. His play in midfield. Mitoma's ability to break through from the wings is undoubtedly impressive. However, when he moves closer to the midfield, there are areas where he can improve in terms of passing, receiving the ball, and distribution. If Mitoma can smoothly integrate into the passing game, he will further evolve as an attacker. Doubts about the English tabloid reports. During this summer's transfer window, there were rumors about Mitoma's transfer. English tabloids reported interest from Manchester City and Arsenal, among others. However, based on my research, there were no concrete developments during this summer's transfer window. The credibility of the English tabloid reports remains questionable. So I did not extensively pursue the reports on Mitoma's future. Perhaps that's why even the local supporters seemed relatively unconcerned about Mitoma's future. And there wasn't much surprise when Mitoma's stay was confirmed after the market closed. First ever achievement for a Japanese player. In a response that seemed to fulfill the expectations of the supporters, Mitoma scored a breathtaking goal. In the second match of the Premier League season against Wolverhampton. He elegantly bypassed three opponents and scored a stunning goal. Showcasing his talent and growth. His goal was rightfully chosen as the Premier League's best goal for August. Marking a historic achievement for a Japanese player. As mentioned earlier, Brighton faces an incredibly busy schedule this season. Starting from September 21st, the European competition begins. Manager Deselby will likely implement rotation while carefully managing each match. Mitoma, as the team's ace, will undoubtedly be part of this rotation. The left side will revolve around Mitoma, sometimes featuring Fatty and other times 21-year-old attacker Simon Adingra in the starting lineup. In any case, the true test for Brighton begins now. As they venture into the unknown territory of European competition, we await to see the kind of performances they will deliver.
and Mitoma, as the ace, will hopefully lead them to victory with his performances. As someone who has followed Brighton for about 36 years, I am also eagerly anticipating the challenges that lie ahead in the European Cup competitions.